All right, so what is good every, is this recording? Well, we gotta turn the music off right now. Copyright. Copyright. Hey, Certified Lover Boy, Donda, my album coming out next week. We gotta have the three goats in a row. All right, Bull's coming back. See y'all later. All right, so what is good, everybody, on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy, B. Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet another boy. And today, listen, we got that early heat pack in for you. And as always, make sure you drop a like on this bit. We got to please the algorithm God. Now, of course, we cannot forget the one and only finesse. Those who get here early, finesse the bell, sub up, drop a like, and leave a comment early on in the video. And you just might see your name scrolling up and down the screen right here with me. Now, some of y'all may have been wondering, where was I at? Listen, if you're not following me on IG, make sure you follow at BulletRC, B-U-L-L-1-C-R-C, just like you see it down below. Over the weekend, I was in Atlanta to congratulate and be the best man or one of the best men in my homie Tony D2 Wilds. You guys know him as Tony D2 Wilds wedding. So like I told y'all, I was back in Atlanta. Now, since the wedding was going on, family was in town. It was kind of more family time, but I did want to do at least some sneaker shopping in there. I got to fit some vintage shopping in there. I got to get out and do something and get some vlog footage for you. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Some of y'all might already notice we got a few things in the back right there. Finesse game, don't worry, you back on the screen so we're gonna get into all that we got a brand new sample drop dropping this saturday on the 11th y'all see it on my head a lot of people been asking about this hat it's on the way listen we got a lot to get into so as always make sure you drop a like on this bid we have to please the algorithm gods finesse gang i appreciate y'all once again i love y'all but i'm gonna have to get y'all up out of here blam y'all gone now this trip was a little different usually i had a flight montage and all that good stuff Nah, we drove this time and it was a good drive. Saved a lot of money, bro. And, you know, you're gonna see some of that money spent on some new pickups. But we're gonna be back. Let me send y'all yeah, down to Atlanta. So listen, right now we are live and direct inside of Versus ATL. First thing I see, I know y'all saw me unbox a pair, but that was an 11. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The whole fit I got on right now is kind of centered around a certain shoe. It is these right here, which I still don't have. And I'm gonna keep it a buck once again. I already looked at what size this is. This is my size, size 12. Now the ticket on the bottom, it's a little hefty. It's a little hefty and I don't like it to be, you know? So oh little, yeah, I got those for retail. It's, it's a little, it's a little, <laughs> Shout out to my retail plug. <laughs> get out of here, bro. Listen, it's a little hefty, but we might have to make it happen eventually. This is definitely one that I still need my size. Trust me, I tried the 11 on, my toes wasn't having it. I was like, I can't, I can't even make it work. So as y'all seeing in hand, listen, I be in VA. I ain't really been out to the stores like that all crazy. So this is my first time actually seeing these brand new union joints in hand. I still like the gold pair better, but these are not bad. You know what I mean? A little bit of some union slander on this pack, part two of their little pack, but these joints ain't bad at all. So of course, you know, this shoe I definitely didn't go on Nike sneakers, but I can peep it real quick. Is these bad boys right here. The Travis Fragment One Lows. And again, bro, the low top, way way better than the high top on these the high top is cool but the lows with that sail that cream it's just a better looking shoe bro this is the first time i probably would say that the low top is better than the high top now i already know this one's a size 13 this is yacht gang bigger yacht gang than me i need a size 12 but uh I don't know if I'm ready to drop that bread right now, but yes, sir. Fragment ones, the low top joints, definitely clean. Hey, real quick before we get out of here, salute to the homie. Yo, what's Leo up, on the building once again. What up, what up, what up? We back at it, man. Yes, it's sir. the sequel. If you if you watch <laughs> this channel, you should already know who this man is, but I just want to get him on okay camera real quick. I'm going to let you get to the bar, bro. Yes, Be sir. Be easy. Got to get a drink. Versus Atlanta. Y'all see it. <laughs> and I ain't leave empty handed. <laughs> Okay, y'all know what's going on. Appreciate you, dog. Thank you. All right, man. You enjoy. So that is going to be a wrap for East Atlanta Village. We are up and out of here. The next stop we got to hit is Good Times Atlanta. And this one right here is one that I've been definitely trying to get to for a little while. I already seen a tee that they posted on IG that I want. It's this crazy Duke vintage tee. 
I'm gonna check it out when we get there. Well, I guess I'll catch y'all back. What's poppin', huh? No, YouTube is shit. Appreciate you. What are these shades? LVs, LVs. LVs? Yes, sir. I need to get a pair. Yeah. I just got the watch. Oh, I feel you. Okay, I see him. I see him. But yo, we gonna be right back. Damn, what is you doing? Sit in West Hope, some consumer. How can I be the little nigga getting this money? Now I get it quicker. I said he chasing his figures. I cannot stop. I'm itching my fingers. Slam down my whip. I got it. Slam down my whip. Alright y'all, so we have finally made it. One parking garage later. No tickets later. Good times, Atlanta. Blam. I see the door. We about to head in. Alright y'all, salute. What's poppin'? We back. Live and direct in Good Times Atlanta for the first time. Definitely not gonna be the last time. And I asked the homie, I was like, yo, you mind if I uh, look at them joints real quick back there? And pull them down. Salutes. Sound light. Don't worry, don't worry about that. That's why you're about the trip. Whoa, back up. Whoa, step back, man. Step back. How do you film those? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, y'all can see right here. Close up on them. Quick little look at these off white twos. Some people hate them, some people love them. I actually do like them. I, I, I like them. Guess what? Guess what? You want to know how many? How many twos? Yeah. Zero. Wow. Zero. This wouldn't be the first pair, I don't think, though. I had the Just Dawns. Oh, you're right. I, I have my Just Dons. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Bro, I have my Just Dons sit in the box. I know your collection better than you do. I haven't, I haven't, yeah. You <laughs> might, you just might. I still got my Just Dons, but y'all see them right here. I'm digging them. This is a small size. This is a, we actually just this is a seven. This is a hard. Okay, okay, there you go. Look. Okay, there you go. Wow, sneaker shop in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Another one right there. Supreme NY. Glam something light. Glam something light. Okay, let me put back shoes that I know I'm not about to buy, okay? We window shopping heavy out here, okay? That's, you just is blinding me right now. Time is, I mean, bro, in person, these are crazy. Yeah, they look way better in person. You're having fun. You gotta, it's just, if you put, like, what do you wear these to? Uh, if you're putting these on your feet, what are you doing in these right here? Yeah, it comes with the dust bag. Come here. Oh, and then it comes with the little uh, accessory. Oh, <laughs> So peep, if y'all not familiar with what Good Times does, I really like Good Times because even from the IG, I can just tell the vibe, but they got some good brands, bro. I'm just walking around, just checking out, seeing kind of some of the stuff they got around. I see these pants, which I actually did miss. The cactus plant, Stussy joints right here. They're all over the padding joints. They got a pair of those. The denim tears, Levi joints right here, bland something light. They got a good few brands in here. A, a lot of different variety in here, which I definitely like. But listen, let me get off this camera because I actually want to cop some. I want to do some shopping myself, okay? We're going to be back. Now in the back, y'all can see a few boxes, a few things that we need to get into. And first things first, let's get into those Atlanta pickups. Okay, so we got two bags right here. First up is Versus, and I'm going to keep this one nice and short because I already talked about these shoes. I just want to let y'all know that Blam, yes, finally, I was able to get my own size, size 12 in the Lightning 4s. Again, 1,000% cop. I had to have these. Now in this bag right here was my pickup from Good Times Atlanta. I'ma keep it a thousand with y'all. Y'all seen the little bit of video footage where we were talking about them CPFM dunks and uh, in a different timeline, I probably would've copped them joints. The price was definitely hefty, but in, in hand, them CPF dunks is just crazy. The way the crystals shine, them joints are straight diamonds dancing on your feet. So. I don't know, after seeing him in person, you know, maybe one day, maybe one day. But what I did manage to pick up was this Stussy and Cactus Plant Flea Market collab. Now these were from that collab that happened a few months ago and this is just that all over orange kind of wash look pair of jeans. More of a baggy jean as you guys can see on the back, the tag that say Stussy big old jeans. And I did try them on and they fit a little bit tight in the thigh area, but the legs and stuff as y'all can see, bruh, we, it's room. 
it's definitely roomy down here these joints will definitely swallow your shoes but i did want to just try out something different from the regular like slim kind of taper pants that i usually wear so that was my pickup from good times atlanta i definitely want to make sure i got something out of there and the main t-shirt bling y'all see right here it was that vintage duke tee it was a size XL and I wanted it, but by the time I got there, that joint was gone. When you're buying vintage, there's certain shirts that you see over and over again. This Duke T right here, I had never seen, but maybe in the future, I'll see it again. I'll make sure I'll be kind of combing through eBay and looking for it. As y'all already know, we were doing like the Atlanta Tomahawks joint. We were dropping these hats and we got, I think only the black colorway left that's available. And I wanted to make sure I do something for my hometown va and that's where you get this beautiful hat right here from now for those of y'all not from va some of the stuff on this hat is not going to make sense so i was going to run through it real quick now all the details on this joint are embroidered on the front of the hat you got the v and the a now this is the way from the norfolk tides hat and i kind of flipped that logo and made it into va for virginia and i want to add another detail in there so you have the baseball with the flame once again all embroidered then once you go to the left side of the hat i got the 1994 that was my birth year sample series logo a play off of the world series logo right there towards the back you guys are going to notice these flowers now this is actually the state flower of virginia and i know someone did ask me yo why didn't you put a cardinal on the hat and uh, i'll make sure to add that one in on the next one and then another detail is right above the snap you guys are going to notice virginia is for lovers that's kind of like one of the models of virginia and the reasons in that green white colorway is kind of the mimic like the interstate sign so that's where you get that design that's where you get that logo from and then as you flip to the side you got the beach you got the sand you got the palm trees as well as neptune's trident on the inside we got a whole king neptune statue here in virginia beach so that's kind of the idea around the hat there's virginia woven all around it quite literally and then the entire colorway of this hat is based off of a vintage Norfolk Tides hat. So this bad boy right here that y'all see me wearing, again, it is dropping Saturday, the 11th at 8 p.m. EST. Blam, y'all see it nice and clean. Super, super happy how this joint came out and uh, super proud, man. VA, you already know what it is, man. I'm, I'm gonna try to represent for y'all as best as I can. Now, we do need to play a little bit of catch up. Now, this is one of my pickups off of Nike sneakers. This was another one of those Jordan retros that they bought back similar to the cool gray threes that I definitely wanted to have. It was just one of those shoes that I never went back and grabbed. And when they went ahead and retro that, I was like, yo, this is definitely gonna be a cop for me. And the good thing about this shoe is that there wasn't a lot of hype on it. And you can get these drinks for under retail, which is beautiful. That's a great thing. Now, as y'all can see the box, Oliver Black, Air Jordan Gray on the bottom. And this shoe inside of here is indeed the Flint Air Jordan 7s. Now, if I would have known that these joints was gonna be like 170 after they dropped, I probably would have waited and just copped them then. But these joints right here have just been sitting in the box. Regardless, it was a shoe that I definitely wanted and a shoe that I was excited for for 2021. You know, not a shoe without a lot of hype, but I think it is a good shoe indeed. And having them in hand and finally getting to unbox them, I mean, the tumble leather looks nice. This new buck or the suede on the upper is nice. The colorway looks pretty good. I think this is a pretty solid retro of the Flint Air Jordan 7. It is a more weird out there colorway. It is a seven and I think that's why the price is kind of what it is. But for those who know and appreciate the shoe, that's only a good thing. So that was one of the pickups while I was away. I did manage to grab these joints, the Flint 7. Another one that I picked up. Now this was on the random. I do hit more on the ideas confirmed app than i do on nike sneakers i don't know what it is about the algorithm on confirm but they be selecting me for access and i just seem to have a better track record as far as time span wise on ideas confirmed and this is one of the shoes that they actually gave me exclusive access for when they were doing some of those restocks and of course on the top of the box it is a yeezy 350 slide these joints on out come on there we go this was a colorway that dropped a little while ago but it was a surprise restock when they did drop and inside of this box right here i have the yeezy 350 in this tail light colorway that all over gray the clear stripe on them and then you got that orange hit on the back i told y'all a lot of the new colorways in the 350s wasn't really pulling me out of the bed and the two new ones that's coming out that mx rock and the mx O that we talked about i'm definitely looking forward to those definitely like those better than this one but hey when i'm lucky enough to to get that access hey i gotta take advantage so blam tail light joints dropped right in the inbox okay next up we got these joints right here 
definitely one of the better colorways coming from JB, at least one of the newer colorways. And I'm really interested to see how this one looks like in person because in pictures, these joints was definitely looking crispy. You already know with Jordans, you get some of them BS colorways mixed in there with those good colorways. But as far as this one goes, I think they did a pretty good job. Now, as you guys can see on the front of the box, it's in all over silver, and then you got that blue Jumpman on the top. Regular retail 190 size 12 sticker is there. And let's go ahead and peel the top off these joints. Ever like they just, I feel like they do this shoe right every time, bro. It is the Air Jordan 13 in that obsidian colorway, or the UNC Jordan 13, and still suede on the upper the leather uh they just really don't miss when they're doing these 13 and this is actually a good colorway again kind of feels like a p colorway feels like that unc vibe now as far as the release date on these it should still be september the 18th there was a lot of shoes that got pushed back the moonlight or the oreo fives them joints got pushed back to i believe the 25th it's a few shoes or one or two jb releases that definitely got pushed back to october apparently stuff is just stuck off the coast so there's definitely going to be some delays on some of these jb shoes that are coming out and y'all already know i will be keeping y'all updated on this week's heater hype going through and just kind of rechecking all of those delays and giving y'all those updated release dates but y'all let me know what y'all are feeling about these 13s Super solid. Is it a need colorway? I don't know, but if you do like this shoe, when you get them in hand, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this pair at all. And with the 13s, the early pack out of the way, that is gonna be a wrap. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and make sure you drop a like on this bit. New videos on the way. I am back home in the studio as y'all can see and I shouldn't be traveling anywhere anytime soon. So more and more videos on the way. If you haven't caught the latest videos, make sure you do that. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is BulldRC, by the way. I might be going live tonight. I didn't have a chance to do my reaction to Certified Lover Boy, so I haven't really listened to the entire album yet. I heard like two songs, so I might do that tonight on Twitch. Here, there, blah, blah, of course, I got them right here. So, BulldRC, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Y'all already know what comes next. It's time for me to go edit. Much love. Peace.